Hi friends, welcome to Codewell YouTube channel. My name is Basha. In the previous video, we have discussed about while loops, right? In this video, we are going to discuss about using a way continue else in the while loops. In the last video, I gave an assignment. Here, I am going to discuss the answer of the program. Our assignment is to print the characters in the name vertically, right? Like this. Now, my name is Basha. That's why B A S H A vertical dash. So I want a program is to print the our name like this, right? So I am going to discuss the answer here. So let me take the variable name here. Name Basha, right? And I'm taking a variable i is equal to zero and while i less than len of name we discussed strings right in the strings we are working with to find the length of the string we use a len method right we have discussed about strings already in previous videos right okay print name of this is also we discussed we discussed how to access the characters in the name using the index value the i will give index values okay and to increment this i is that's one right so let me execute this in my cmd open my command prompt i'm already in my directory i'm not save this okay let's see this so it would be a s h a in vertical direction right so see my name is basha that's why size is equal to zero and zero is less than alien of name then length is five so zero is less than five then print the name of i i is zero so name of zero zero is b that's why it's put b next i is incremented i is equal then now i is equal to plus one that it happens here this is this is equal to i is equal to i plus one this is and is this equal to so incremented one value now i is equal to one and i less than alien name so those those this is five so one is less than five that's why it's two that name of one one is one is a that's why point a like this it pointed and uh, until i commit until five five less than i equal to the name five less five five less than five so it's false that's why it exit the loop stop the execution so let's check now names let's check is, is this program work for any name i'm going to take the input from the user as we are programmers with our programming knowledge we are going to write code for software applications right according to user requirements we have to write the software applications so I like to take input from the user so input and I am going giving a prompt and your name All right so I'm going to save this not execute in my CMD okay so program one dot five I'm asking for a name. Let's give name as James Bond. Alright, of a famous character. See, James Bond in vertical direction. Work for any name. Let's check with another name. Let's give name as um, H. Dark, one of the favorite character in MCU, Iron Man. See, Tony Stark in vertical direction. Let's work for all names, right? I'll clear with this. Next. Now we are going to talk about break continue and else. Okay. See, first we are going to discuss about a break. The break keyword is used to break out a loop out of a loop. That means to stop the execution of a loop whenever we want. I will explain this with example. That make you clear. Okay, let me clear this. Okay. Now I am taking a variable i z equal to zero and while i less than i less than or equal to 10 print the value of i 
and I'm using if here if I'll describe what if right if i is equal to is equal to 3 break and we have to increment right i plus is equal to 1 let me save this and execute in cmd c print the 0 1 2 and 3 when i is equal to 3 it's a break stop the execution to stop the execution we use break keyword and next continue the continue keyword is used to end the current iteration in a loop and continues to the next iteration let's see with example let me clear this off okay i'm taking a variable a that is equal to zero and while a less than 10 Okay, and I'm implementing here a plus is equal to one, right? Now I'm using if to if i is equal to is equal to five. Okay. Let's continue with it. I will continue here. Okay, in here, going yeah. I'm sorry, I used higher. Right. See what happened now. Insert this and execute in CMD. See, it's printing 1 to 10 numbers, but 1, 2, 3, 4, and not printed 5. We stop at execution at 5, continue with next next iteration. Continue with next iteration, right? This is continue keyword. The continue keyword is used to end the current iteration. Current iteration ended at 5. When i a is equal to 5, current iteration is ended. And it continues to the next iteration. And from 6, it has continued with next iteration, right? For this purpose, the continue keyword is used. Next, else keyword. With, the else, with this else statement, we can run the block of code 1 when the condition no longer is 2. Okay, let me explain with the code now. Then it is clear. Okay, let me clear this. Okay, let me think. I value i is equal to one, and while i less than or equal to five. Okay, print i. Print i. And increment this i plus is equal to one and else i already seen about else in if if conditions right here point i comma greater than five five let's see what happened let's save this so end 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 correctly. I have to make sure the indentations are correct. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is greater than 5. What happened here is i is equal to 1, we have taken 1 less than i equal to 5, 2. So it is printed 1. And we have incremented i, right? Then 2. High value become 2, 2 less than i equal to 5, 2. That we printed i. It happens from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 less than or equal to 5, 2. The 5 also printed when i becomes 6. As when i is 5, we are incremented and i becomes 6. This condition became false and come to else black and printed at 6 greater than 5. Okay. That's it for this video, friends. See you in the next video. If you like my video, please hit the like button. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.